Which, I am back. Time to destroy my back. Got my Lego hands so I can get a good grip. And I'm gonna start with lap pull downs, see how it goes. Good activation. It's gonna be a good lift. Now, we are at the apartment gym because luckily nobody's here, so I can talk and you can hear me. No music, fantastic. But I do have a cord coming in the mail, so hopefully when that comes in, it fixes my mic problem and I can start training back at the big gyms. It's a very intense first set, but that's what we want. Oh yeah, I'm already sore from that. That's good. Luckily the Lego hands take out a lot of forearm and bias the lats. Today is a great day. Today is our turning point for YouTube in my routine. I'm bringing it back. I mean, this is part of it, streaming it, having a good workout, but I haven't been as consistent as sedulous camp should be. But luckily, since I haven't been, that gives me the perspective of how my life can be compared to when I am consistent. And I choose consistency. My life is so much better. I feel so much more productive, so much more fulfilled. And I grow so much more, and growth is the key to life. It is the purpose of life. We are born a baby, and we grow. We become bigger, wiser, stronger. We just grow in all aspects, and you, you should never stop. You should continue to grow. So, with this self-improvement routine, I should grow and capture my growth hopefully inspire and motivate any of you to grow as well. Today we are listening to Juice World and Lil Uzi. I think I'm ready for my second set. Keep that intensity. Just push past failure. Just try to endure it. It's hard. It's painful. It burns, but that's when it's working. So you want to capitalize on the burn. Push yourself through it. Maximize the tension. Thank you. 
heavier in weight. So it was a little bit harder, but I was able to reach eight and then just kind of capitalize at the end. I can't do a full rep, but I can do partials and I can hold that tension and try to just increase it. Increase that intensity. It's the name of the game. I'm feeling really good about this new routine. I added some tweaks and as I do it more often, I believe I can just improve it. And if you improve your system, the system improves your life. So make yourself a good system. It's really the key. The topic of today's video that I'm making is organization and structure. Those are the keys. And what I mean by that is if you're unorganized and you don't have a good structure, you're not gonna have good results. Like, I have a checklist, right? I have a marker board and I have a checklist of all these habits that I need to do, all these tasks. And since I can just read it and do it, it makes it so simple. But if I just have it in, in my mind, like obviously I know I need to work out, I need to do this, I need to do that. But to visually see what needs to be done and to visually see your progress, your progress, it really just makes a difference. <sighs> Highly recommend it. I do believe if I just do this every single day, it will get across to people. It will impact them. I've kind of been slacking on back. It's been a while since I had a really good back day. So I'm glad I can just turn that around. And just freaking get back, get back to the grind. I'm lat dominant and shoulder dominant. But like I said, I haven't been grinding as hard on my lats, so I can't let that fall behind. I gotta continue to work towards them to maintain the lat dominance. And I, I think it's a great muscle to be dominant in. It gives you that width, it gives you that V. But I can always improve it, I can always enhance it. It's on me to do so. Go back to 100. Man, I just looked up Juice World and Lil Uzi playlist. And just bangers. Like right now it's 20 minutes by Lil Uzi. But there's just so many bangers. I'm telling you, I wish I could just play it through the stream. Which I don't really understand how that works because, like, you see, like, Kai Sinat play like all these songs on his stream. So copyright must not affect streams the way I think it does. But I'll get like copyright warning, so I don't really know. All I know is I'm doing what I can do. I'm working out and I'm streaming it. And that's the main thing. As long as I get a good workout and then at least, you know, stream it so I can capitalize on that a little bit maybe influence another person to work out. Or I have gotten plenty of advice and feedback from viewers, so that is really cool. I do need to get to where I'm streaming on various platforms. Sometimes I'll pull out this phone. If I'm not listening to music, I'll set this up on the tripod as well so I can stream to TikTok, but I know there's, you know, multi-stream. It's just, I don't know, there's a lot of complications. But like I said, I'm just doing what I can do. I'm doing, I'm at least working out and streaming, so I'm happy with that. And then with the stream, I'm posting that stream to YouTube, which usually makes a good YouTube video as well. So I'm moving in the right direction. As long as I'm making progress, it doesn't have to be the most amount of progress. As long as you're taking steps towards the person you want to become, it doesn't matter how big those steps are, you're getting closer to that version of yourself. And as you take more and more steps, it becomes easier to maintain that, to subconsciously take those steps so you can bias more your focus towards how can I improve these steps. So I just gotta keep consistent, stay sedulous, just move in the right direction. 10 minutes, let's go ahead hit this third set. Shout out 
these Lego hands. it looked like I was activating in that last rep but I was I was fully fully stretched but there was tension there I wasn't letting go of that tension I was just letting that stretch allow me to engage it felt pretty good let's go ahead and go into some rows what the heck we are 20 followers we were just at 19 so if you're watching and you just followed, shout out you. Thank you, I appreciate that a lot. We listening to Empty by Juice World now. My problem solved with styrofoam. try to maximize this so this needs to come out so I can get a full stretch and then I brought this up honestly that may be too high let me see how this is like if I'm higher it's gonna hit more on my lower back if I break it down it's gonna hit more on my upper back so there's no wrong positioning it's just Depends on what you want to hit. But what I'm trying to hit is like the part of my back that I haven't felt from the lat pull down. I'm gonna bring it up one. But that feels like a good roundness. Like I'm getting a good amount of my back through the full motion. Just keep. Okay, maybe I do need to go all the way up. Because that was, you know, a lot of upper lats. I want to hit a little bit lower. If you're um, in the chat, say what's up.
fuck. Now, that was good. Not perfect though. So, I'm gonna, I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and do some rows with some dumbbells, see if that's a little bit better. But before I do that, I'm gonna do this horizontal grip so I can activate my rear delts. And for that, I need to come up. Boy, I'm already all the way up. <laughs> and that way, my elbow is in line with my shoulder. Because here is not as much activation in my rear delt compared to here. I definitely gotta lower it. Now for this dumbbell row, I have an idea in mind. I don't know how effective it's gonna be, but we're gonna, we're gonna try it. It's just trial and error. You gotta listen to your body. Wake up every day. do this so not sure it's gonna be perfect but I'm gonna try like I started Holy crap. I thought it was gonna be kind of light, it was heavy. Now it was good lats, but I felt like a lot of rear dough as well. But that is what we're trying to hit, so not a bad thing. You know I haven't said this stream yet. Fuck wasted potential. And stay sedulous, of course. You already know all that. Just gotta remind you. I like that. I'm gonna do it again with 20s rather than 35s. See if I can go slow, controlled, and get that good engagement. But we need water. Water is water is good. Usually I start my stream with pull-ups, but new addition to my routine. It's five slow controlled pull-ups every single day, so that's like the first thing I did. So let me 
explain something to you real quick. If you are watching this, right now as the president, you are the youngest you'll ever be, right? I'm the youngest I'll ever be. And I've said this before in a past video, and at the time, like, it seemed like the president, but it, because I was the president, but it's already so far in the past. It was before I turned 22, like a month ago. So, same situation right here. I'm the youngest I'll ever be, and this will eventually be in the past. So, with that in mind, I like to try to just make the most of it. If you know what I mean, it's really a kind of hard concept to wrap your head around. But this is going to be on the internet, and it will be a document of my youngest self. And I just want to be pr proud looking back at that. So as I do this, I get more and more competent, more confident. And it's just, it's cool. Like looking back at the video that I made, it's just nice to look back on, you know. I've been doing good at eradicating you know from my daily I don't know the word that I should use for that but I have been using a lot less which is good but what I was trying to say I think what I was trying to say I don't know <laughs> I forgot it was weird, like, usually music kind of distracts you, but I was kind of in a, in a zone right there. But I am getting better at articulation, at portraying myself, and just expressing what I want to express. I think that's kind of where I was going with that. And I was, I was saying I was proud looking back at when I really just taken advantage I don't think it's took advantage. I think it, I, it might be. I still have a lot of work to do, as you can tell, but I took advantage of when I was that age. I was 21, and now I'm 22, and I can never make a video again at 22, or 21, forgive me. But, you know, in a year, dang it, I just said, you know, again. I didn't even know I said it that much until I started filming myself, and it was bad. So I have gotten a lot better, but now I'm more conscious. So whenever I do make that mistake, I'm aware of it and I can work towards fixing it. I'm sure you have a similar situation where you say a word or a phrase a lot and you don't even realize it. You just gotta become more aware in order to say it less, in order to use that phrase or word less, eradicate it from your vocabulary. Vocabulary isn't the word I'm, I'm trying to use. I'm trying to think of like, like whenever you're speaking, your speech, eradicate it from your speech. I guess that would be more on mine. But we're kind of going on a tangent. I need to get back to this pump. Nice little rest in between, but hopefully I said something of value.
pretty good. Now, like I said, this is an exercise that I typically do. So I'm not perfect at it, but it was good. It was a little light that time, but it's better than being too heavy and not being able to control it. It's a good workout. I'm pretty out of breath. Nice slow pump, but we not done. I think I'm gonna go back to this. One more set of that rear delt. And probably face pulls. So more rear delt. Don't neglect the rear delts. Cooking. Let's go back to this lap pull down. Why not? More growth, more gains. Hopefully, <laughs> my back doesn't look like crap. I've been having body dysmorphia since I've been lacking. Hopefully, the pump is a little encouraging. Oh, all right, I gotta stay sedulous. Gotta finish strong. We're wrapping up. I'm gonna do another set of this, and then probably face pulls, and then we have to do back extensions for that lower back. And then, hopefully, we feel well-rounded after that. Come on down. You dig, nine, nine, nine. I'm in town. Oh, thank you, Lego hands. You have done your job. Fuck wasted potential. Glad nobody's in here.
usually people don't care when I film. Like, I haven't had a single instance where somebody tells me, like, to stop recording myself, stop streaming. But it is just kind of a little awkward, you know? Obviously, nobody wants to be recorded without permission. But for the most part, they're cool about it. Usually, I'll be like, you know, I'm not crazy, just filming my workout. So ignore me when I'm talking to myself. <laughs> You can't see that, but I totally landed that. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Too heavy. Too light. Just right. Ooh. We're feeling good. But I turned that around though, because this thing freaking sucks. Probably sounds stupid just singing without you being able to hear the music, but <laughs> I can. That's what matters. All that matters is what you think. And that's deep. Truly, if you think about it. It doesn't matter what other people think. <sighs> to a degree, I guess. most important thing is what you think. Um, I freaking trimmed like my legs and my arms and I look so much better. Like I was having bad body dysmorphia, but after I trimmed, I felt a little bit better. Like I'm telling you, try it and you'll see a difference.
if you're watching this on whatever, comment your favorite Lil Uzi song, I'm curious, and or favorite Juice World song. Also, what's the most underrated song of the of the two? Oh, it's a crazy finisher. We're getting where we want to be. High intensity. <sighs> Not even full reps, just holding it is giving me what I need. Don't get too hung up on reps and sets and all of that. Focus on tension, focus on your body, what it's feeling. Ow. good feeling to reach a high intensity and then feel a high relief afterwards now this isn't necessary but i want to do abs so i'm going to
probably wasn't even a minute, but it was so beneficial. All right, I think I want to go ahead. Go back to the rear delt. I actually landed that one. <laughs> Oh, I want to say that's good, but it's not good enough. You have to have integrity. You have to be honest with yourself. Could you have gone further? Could you have pushed yourself harder? The answer is usually yes. It feels so much better. That was more intense. Now, oh, I want to get pump vid, but before I'm gonna do one just ego set. Cause why not? All right, let's, let's check this pump. Hopefully it doesn't look like crap.
All right. Now I'm going to wrap up my YouTube video and this stream. It's a really good workout. And like I said, I don't know if I said it in the stream, but I said it in my YouTube video. Prior to yesterday, I haven't worked out for three days in a row, which is a long time for me. I usually work out every single day and have like a rest day like once a week. But it's the turning point. Yesterday, I worked out with a friend, had a good chest day, basically a push day. But now, I had a really good pull day, a really good back day. I'm out of breath, but I need to say what I need to say. So if you're watching this, just get momentum. Take a step in the right direction, and the next step gets easier, and it gets easier and easier, just like rolling a snowball. It just grows, it compounds. So take a step in the right direction, do what needs to be done, regardless of how you feel. I didn't necessarily feel like having a good back workout. I usually don't really feel like coming in and going hard. Sometimes I'm out of energy, sometimes I'm just not feeling it. It depends day by day, but no matter what, if you do what you need to do, regardless of how you feel, the results are gonna show. <sighs> so two things to say, three things actually, check out the YouTube, I never say that, but check out the YouTube, fuck wasted potential and stay sedulous.